Bella. We have just greeted you by saying, Sunny Bonan. We confirm that we see you and we acknowledge your presence. Not only you as a person, but all of your being, your spirit, and your lineage. Ninja. Lika Ivatu. How are you? You have just told us that ni kona ni apina. In English, you are telling us that you are fine. But in an African language, you are telling us that you are here all your life. And so we thank you because despite of all the life challenges that you might be going through right now, you are alive and you are here. Thank you. Le amure tu moha. Tolam pedeli chinekale tola lo. You are welcome. You may please proceed. You know, once upon a time, in uh, one very interesting uh, republic, there was a gathering of uh, thinking people who decided that they needed to talk about stories, the meaning of uh, a you know, story. And a lot of people were invited you know, to speak. And as democracy, you know, permit that uh, after the others uh, will speak, and then somebody else will speak and respond to encourage those people, and also to point the point a, a way forward. And it went on very, very well until it came to uh, one of the speakers, the third speaker, who did not prepare, you know, their uh, their speech, who just went about saying everything that was actually coming on. And at the end of the discussion, because they know practically everything, they walked out because they could not communicate with another one. That in itself caused serious concern for violence in this nation. <laughs> you know? And I'm also thinking that uh, the speaker that then spoke was someone who was from literature and also from languages. And yet, throughout the entire talk, one had absolutely nothing about techno language. You know, because you cannot talk about stories without talking about language. We enter into serious uh, uh, violences in our minds. Now, if I take the story as the Dinonoana, or Inzomi, Dinonoana is, is from the root na take. It's reciprocity. No one person in African indigenous knowledge system tells the story. Umanibu! Umanibu! Wasu wasu we. You see, you never tell the story alone. For the story is not yours. The story belongs to everybody else. That's the reality. Okay. Now, uh, the uh, Honorable Speaker spoke the story of a novel, of an epic, uh, the stories of reunion, the siege of Macapansa, uh, the women in the kitchen. And we are talking about women in the kitchen. I think about the men who live in hostels. Their stories are also about the kitchen as well. We are trying to move from the gender you know, perspectives. Let's put it this way. <clears throat> My feedback into this is on the issue of storytelling and language. That's what I prepared in my mind when I heard that the speaker is from uh, literature and is from languages. I thought, let me speak about uh, the issues of language. And in answering this, I'll be speaking to other uh, narratives that I heard here before. Now, I've got my friend there, he's got a phone, eh? His phone is a strawberry. Oh, <laughs> oh so sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, Blackberry. <laughs> you know why? You know? A Blackberry, in my language, you phone, isn't it? But an iPhone, you phone you got. <laughs> this Gazi means the awesome one, isn't it? <laughs> At home, you know, Gazi, Gazi. 
That means my wife is a real king. My daughter is in daughter, Gazi. O antigeni, o babe, Gazi. And then I break the word, umfazi, the name for a woman. Ufa azi. That word is contracted out of two of the most powerful concepts in the world, the concept of death and the concept of knowledge. Now, once you've got people that are so powerful with their guns and all of these things, and you come to me to say me that a man is the head of the family and that the woman must be married in order to be respected, but not the man, then conceptual violence again. Isn't it? Okay. The speaker who spoke here said the truth and reconciliation had stories, and those stories were witnesses. But those stories were not only witnesses, those stories were validating, you know, history. They were validating, you know, other narratives. They were validating experiences. They were not just only a witness you know, to anything. Now, when you look at the word insomni, which is what we call octate, the very root of that one, you know, means excessive interchange of imagination. Now, many of you here that have seen me telling stories every morning on SABC2. My stories were there in parables. Until somebody powerful in this country